Hollywood style. Not the so-called style of celebrities or classic Hollywood cinema, as the title might allude to. No, I'm referring to the style of certain individuals that you might see on the streets of Hollywood. Individuals with a distinct appearance and manner of going about their daily life. Their own inherent style without much deference for the fashion of the season or current social mores. I pass through the streets of Hollywood every week. I see them. Here's three. I'm 20 years old. I live in Los Angeles. And currently, I am in between jobs. I was raised a Jehovah's Witness, and my heart wasn't in like the whole religion. I knew I wasn't wanting to do that. I started using like drugs when I was really, really, really young. I started using pills when I was really young after I broke my wrist and I had like free access. An RV where I was doing amphetamines and all sorts of different crazy stuff and now I'm like almost two years sober. My style and my identity are like very, very like closely like laced together because more than just like the clothes I put on, the way I uh, the way I identify as a person, I'm very gender queer, very gender non-specific. Um, I don't fit the male binary. I am, I'm very into feminine views, and I feel like women have a lot of things that men should emulate a little bit more sometimes, and they can kind of take a note from women sometimes. And so I have sort of developed my style to emulate feminine style because I just really think it's beautiful. Like these shoes, oh, my man. grandmother got for me. Wow. wow. They're size 15 men's. Weren't cheap. I moved out of my mom's place when I was like 14. And I was jumping around for a long time. I was like in homeless shelters. And so I ran away and I lived in uh, a team homeless shelter. I had just like turned 18. Weird. And I was like trying to be all normal too at that point. I was like, just, like kind of square, like maybe a little bit of blonde in my hair, not really wearing makeup or anything at that point. I had had like some weird issues where I was like trying to be like normal. And I wasn't really able to express myself as an artist either. And I wasn't like, I started stealing my mom's makeup when I was really young and putting it on and stuff because I like wanted to try something different because I was never allowed to express myself. I don't know. Well, my style has changed and evolved with me through all of it. Um, I usually go for like the stuff that my friends don't like. Like if I go up to them, like, oh girl, that's ugly. And I'll be like, oh, I can make it look cute. And then once I wear it, they'll be like, oh, that's cute. I'll be like, bitch, that's the same thing <laughs> that you didn't like. <laughs> so I just go for like different stuff, like epic, like epic clothing. It can be cheap, expensive. Like I just all make it look like nice wearing it. My name is Kaden White. I'm 26. I grew up in Los Angeles, California, and I like to just look cute every day. <laughs> just just growing up and just having to support myself and just going out and just looking for clothes and just expressing myself in a different way, I say. Yeah, I just like got, went with the flow and liked what I liked. Like went for what I liked. Or like, I'm just more like, I just stop somewhere if I see the clothes through the door. I mean like through the window. Yeah, I just stop and shop. This is my mom, Doretha, and this means, um, pretty. It was my dad. He passed away and I got him next to my mom. My dad used to always just ask us, do we want to go to the, to the racetrack? And I was the only one that was really interested and it really meant a lot to me because growing up, I never thought I'd lose my dad at a young age. So it was just making me look at like life in a different way. When my brothers and sisters was acting funny towards me, he never like, you know, he never like act funny. Like he always stayed true to who he was. I love me, me, and this is um, the boy and girl wrestling symbol. And I got fire because I'm hot, of course, and <laughs> music nuts because I, I like music. And, and when's, 
a reason for me saying that my dad accepted me and made me feel good is because I'm transgender and before I was tra before I transitioned, I got my birth name. Growing up in that, um, we we all grew up in a house, and once my dad passed away, our house went in foreclosure, and um, I ended up meeting this special guy, and now I stay with him. And I'm just trying to build myself, and you know, go to college and have a career so I can get on my own, because it's just like. The way my life happened, I would have never thought like I'd be in the situation I am, but I have just learned from that and grown from it. Yeah, I dress like like funky, like all type of different like, cause I really don't color coordinate. I just like to just wear different like c different colors without like matching sometimes. I, I got this little outfit, this shot, this top from the fashion district downtown. I'm a skirt. I go shopping so much, but I just forgot where I got this skirt. But <laughs> it's cute, so I got it. And I got these heels in Hollywood. I just seen it and wanted to get it. But the way I put stuff together, I don't I have no thought of it. I just grab it, and once I put it on, I really like fall in love with it. What you do with Jesus? Bible says now is the day of salvation. Now is the accepted time. The call of God is to repent, turn around. Repent, turn around. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Follow righteousness and holiness and you can escape the damnation of hell. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ makes the difference. I was born three months premature, weighed two pounds, like 13 ounces, in an incubator. My grandmother raised me from the time I was five until, like, until she just couldn't handle us anymore. Teenage years are always in trouble. Different public, I got kicked out of public school, got suspended and expelled from two high schools. So, with that, I, um, like, I was always in trouble. Always. And the prison, and I had just turned 17. I robbed two people walking down the street. It was dumb. It wasn't a lesson learned. I still got out and did dumb shit. Like even after that, while in, while in prison, I picked up three years on and after for assault and battery on a correctional officer and assault and battery dangerous weapon. Um, did three years on and after for that. That was my sixth straight that I did. You know, like I, I ended up getting the heroin, like addiction, for like three years straight. I like to be different. You know, like, I like to tie my shoes differently. Yeah. Like, that's what I like to do. That's my little personal touch of something that I like to do. Guard your reputation in your life. You know, like, like, you have to be who you are and always stick to that. That image of jumping off top tiers and fighting with cops and getting into fights, taking care of what you need to take care of. I mean, that's not what all, that's not all what prison's about, but. Um, Another philosophy I, I like, it's actually a quote, it's just, without struggle there is no progress. And that's Frederick Douglass, like, he, he's very intelligent. What led up to getting that, that cut on your foot? Uh, an argument with a few people, and the kid just out of nowhere just cut me in a razor. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't my problem, my issue, but I got hit with the box cutter. Blood everywhere, I chased him. But I realized if I'm in front of McDonald's and I'm chasing you at night after you, I got blood all over me, I'm going to jail for a while. I don't need to do that. I've been there, done that. Tattoo on my face, it's Hooligan Brotherhood. Um, I got it because if I do something, I like to do it big, you know? Like, I got a tattoo on my back, so I crossed it. Uh, so yeah. It's just a bunch of Irish kids that were sick of, you know, getting this. Stuff taken or jumped or... I'd say I learned my lesson. I haven't been to prison in five years. Come on, except for Rikers Island. I don't consider that prison. That was a couple of days. Well, I say what?